An abdominal aortic aneurysm is a dilation of the aorta, usually somewhere below the kidney vessels, and it, some of them may not be of any clinical consequence. If your aorta gets to only three or four centimeters, it's not probably going to cause any issue. But when the aorta gets to around five to five and a half centimeters, then we worry and we think about repairing it. It's a fairly common pathology in the United States, actually. It affects men and women. Um, the age range tends to be people over the age of 50. And again, they usually, usually tend to be smokers, people with high blood pressure, um, and genetic pre preponderance to it. Commonly, people don't actually have any signs or symptoms. What happens is they get an incidental CT scan for a spine issue or for some other issue, and they're found and that's the way most aneurysms are found in America. If a person has symptoms related to an aortic aneurysm, it's usually due to rupture, and so that becomes an emergency, and then the whole workup and process starts where we get a CT scan and find the aneurysm. At Vascular Institute of the Rockies, we have a full complement of ways to repair aortic aneurysms. The old way in which we used to repair abdominal aortic aneurysms was to make either a lateral incision or an abdominal incision and get down to the aorta and hand sew a graft like this right into the aortic position. But a person could end up in the hospital for let's say seven to ten days and it had a whole set of complications. Then in the late 1990s we started using endografts. The, the graft itself is rolled up very tightly in a device like this. And you can see like part of it is unconstrained and part of it's constrained here. And we percutaneously access your femoral arteries and essentially put this up into your aorta. And then we deploy the graft and this opens up. Recovery time for something like that, the person goes home the next day and the complications are very minimal. Usually the patients do very, very well with either method. The great thing about Vascular Institute of the Rockies is the depth of our surgeons. So if you require something like an open procedure, they can pull that off with the lowest morbidity and mortality. At the same time, we have several endovascular trained surgeons who have made devices like this their livelihood. And so they're actually proctors nationwide for, for courses so that we make sure we've covered every basis of aortic repair at VIR.